Welcome to my world. 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 Hello everybody, this is Lotus Seat. I'm Suzanne Ridgway. And welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link and checking me out. We're going to shred up this leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a fantabulous Thanksgiving. We're going to make a turkey pot pie. Perfect for leftover turkey. I'm going to use a biscuit topper on my pot pie. You should have your pie dough room temperature. Pro tip, put it into the microwave for 10 seconds sealed and then if it's still cold feeling another 10 don't do 20 at a time though two tens seconds separately and it'll come on room temperature with ease we're going to make a delicious turkey pot pie as i mentioned if you're new smash on and that subscribe word we're going to get all this turkey shredded up some of it is going to be used for my thanksgiving sandwich that i make every Black Friday, and I add stuffing and mashed potatoes to it. It's awesome. So we're going to shred up the turkey. I'll make that sandwich for you here within this video. Two great things that you can do with leftover turkey for around two meals. I'm all about being frugal and saving money wherever I can in my household. We even used our turkey cock kiss. We broke it down and it's making bone broth turkey soup. I'm going to get this completely shredded up. I'm going to set some turkey aside for the sandwich. And I set aside mashed potatoes and stuffing. If you like the cranberry sauce, you can add whatever on it and make a nice layered sandwich with a slice of cheese, tomato, mayonnaise. Yum. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. And I'll mention the giveaways a little later in this video and let you know what the rules are. I'm going to finish shredding this. I just had eye surgery on my left eye, so it's a little swollen looking, but it doesn't hurt. And I can see out of it, which I've never really been able to do. Just like shapes, colors, and the letter E on the chart. I can actually see things if I cover my right eye and read. My doctor, Dr. Bellman, is a genius. I won't need a lot for the turkey sandwich. You can do turkey paninis, turkey goat cheese, whatever you want. I have turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes to go home with my son back to the dorm. That they'll probably heat up and eat as a dinner so they don't have to go over to the dining hall all the time. We're going to wash our hands and set this aside and we're going to get the pie crust into the deep dish pie plate. That is my deep dish pie plate that I have. I'm going to get the pie crust in it. I'm going to spray it lightly. I'm going to pop it into the oven for about 10 minutes. And then to the pie dish we're going to add cream soup, any variety. Leftover turkey and whatever vegetables you have frozen or canned on hand. Peas and carrots would be nice. Mixed vegetables would be great. I'm just going to do frozen peas. It's a little tricky getting it out. I don't want to manhandle it too much. Traditionally, you would use two of these pie shells. I'm going to do a biscuit topper because I only have one. I wanted to use this up. 
And I wanted to do a turkey pot pie. You can pinch it around the pie plate. That's what I'm doing here. I hear a little tough tit mouse up because it's my bird feeder every day. Cute little gray mousy bird. I didn't hear much of the blue jay this morning. Even when I fed them. The squirrel got mad at something, so they were probably just defending their colony. I'll throw some more peanuts out later. Okay, looking good. Pop it into your preheated 350 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Let it get all brown and crispy. Not really crispy, but cooked. And time it so you don't burn it. I've done it straight from the package in the oven before and it comes up soggy at the bottom so I have to pre-cook it a little bit. In a bowl you're going to dump in your choice of Cream soup. I have cream of celery. Use cream of chicken. I don't know if they have cream of turkey. Sometimes it can be a little stubborn to open up. We give away gift cards every 100 subscribers. Gift cards are listed in the description box below. Must be subscribed in the United States residents. If you need, must comment in order to qualify. Please be kind. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes through the mail. If you won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days. If you won, you don't answer within two, you will be disqualified. We've already given out a prize pack. And we're going to give out another one. So we're looking for 20 people to give out a five items prize pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. Same rules apply. I am going to be grabbing some seasoning here. A little bit of salt. A couple of teaspoons, nothing much. A little bit of garlic. A couple of teaspoons once again. And fresh black cracked pepper. And you guessed it. Two teaspoons. Just like that. And then we're going to take uh, the turkey that we shredded up together. Drop it into the bowl. We are pre-making our mixture. And we're going to grab our frozen peas. Eat your peas and you can do as you please. Gifted to me from our recent food pantry haul. These organic green peas. Check out our food pantry haul playlist down below in the description box with our Cook With Me playlist. If you would like to find them, click on all other playlists and scroll until you find what you're looking for. About a cup and a quarter of peas. Now they don't have to be frozen, they could be canned. It's just what I have on hand. And then to the mixture, you're going to add in. Oh, about a tablespoon of milk. Not a whole lot. And I didn't dilute the cream soup, if you noticed. I'm going to take your fork and just kind of mix it all about. You can do peas and carrots, mixed vegetables, whatever you wish. I'm going to check on the pie crust to see how it's coming along. We're going to get the mixture into the pie crust. 
And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the Bisquick. We're going to throw it in as is and then add butter so it gets all nice and golden brown and delicious. I still healing from the surgery. Come on, make a pantry friendly turkey pot pie and use what you have on hand and make it pantry friendly. And that is done. There's about four minutes and change. So we'll just go ahead and retrieve it. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. I'm going to take that mixture you just made and get it into the pie shell. that goes in. And we're going to add it to this way. We're going to make some butter packs. And I'll show you what to do. Completely pantry friendly turkey pot pie with a biscuit topper. You go ahead and cut the butter down into pats. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. We like to do five ingredient dump and go dinners that are simple, delicious, and Great for the entire family on a budget. And you're just going to place them all over this pie dish. Put it back into that same preheated 350 degree oven. until the biscuit topper is cooked all the way through and golden brown. We usually pick up our butter book at our BJ store. You can check out our grocery haul playlist and occasionally on Walmart because they have a twin pack that is sometimes cheaper. And you're gonna put this in for about 45 minutes. You're not going to do it to what the package says because you're not using it in the biscuit form. For the sandwich, you can grab your bread, whatever you have, your leftover mashed potatoes and stuffing, and the turkey we were served. You can toast up your bread if you want. I'm going to use regular wheat bread. I'm going to add a slice of cheese. And if you have tomato, you can add that. It is your Thanksgiving sandwich. My favorite part of Thanksgiving is that leftover sandwich. Grab my cheese. It is great value. The same thing as the Kraft Deluxe, but at half the price. Just a slice of cheese. They're not pre-wrapped, which I love because I don't like the way they taste on a pre-wrapped cheese. I'm going to grab a tablespoon. You can even throw this in the air fryer with some butter on the bread. And toast it up. Make an air fryer Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. Add your stuffing. And add some turkey. I'm going to save some of that turkey. For another sandwich, I'm going to add some of your mashed potatoes. And you're going to take your other slice of bread. And 
And then you have yourself your after Thanksgiving Day sandwich. Here is a close up of the sandwich, and I'm going to just go ahead and cut it. Perfect. Try it. Again, I had surgery on my eye. Mmm. I love this. I'm going to check on the turkey pot pie with the biscuit topper. Completely pantry friendly. Five ingredients. Probably gonna need the 10 minutes that's left. Well, this is what it's starting to look like. You can see the edge of it here. Let it go for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. And if it needs more time, I'll add on. Go ahead and retrieve it from the oven. It went in for 50 full minutes. I added in an extra five. We'll finish cooking right on the stove top. That is what it looks like. It's got the biscuit topper. And I'll show you a close up. I love turkey pot pie, and I did have eye surgery as I mentioned, with fresh roasted turkey. Mmm, this is fabulous. A few ingredients, you guys are going to make it. This is what it looks like up close. If you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe work for great five ingredient dump and go dinners with leftovers, perfect round two meal. We do around two meal once a week on Mondays. You can check that out in our meal planning playlist. We do a rotation system with theme nights where I can plan up to two months in advance. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. My family really appreciates each and every one of you. Have a great day.